All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First off, and for most as always, I want to give all the praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kodash. Double honor will be unto the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, as always, I want to say a uh, big Shalom <clears throat> to you, Sensor Akim out there. That's pushing his truth, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that's pushing his truth through his spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, And this lesson is simply going to be titled, Temporary, okay, Temporary. And before I even get, you know, a quick precept, I just wanted to snag the uh, meaning of the word, Okay. This is the online etymology. And the word temporary means uh, lasting only for a time. Okay, a short time. Time, season, lasting but for a time. Okay, and it says, um, example, it says, a person employed only for a time. Yeah, you know, so lasting for a short time. You know, and that's this place we see here. You know, the uh, not only... He saw Edom, you know, um, had a short time. Now, I'm going to say this. Now, Babylon, you know, had a short time. You know, he saw Edom, his time was short, you know. But in even, you know, the small little things that, you know, the flesh tries to get us to worry about in this world, you know, while being this truth is temporal, you know, whether it be, you know, with a woman, you know, that's temporal on this side. Okay, as far as, you know, a relationship, if you will. Okay, um, you know, wickedness, that's temporal. You know, ultimately the ways of this society is temporal. All right. And hey, man, it's beautiful because we have a kingdom coming. You know, we know, you know, before we get our kingdom, this place, our captivity is going to be destroyed. All right. So real quickly, let's get this quick preset. And I'm just going, you know, going with the spirit. You know, in Lord's will, this lesson is edifying to the Lord's sheep. All right. Now, I think that's included. Ask these and the end of a thing. All right. Bear with me real quick. Yep. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 7, verse 8. It says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. <laughs> right, man. You know, better is the end of this captivity than, than the beginning. You know, because we went through child slavery, you know, we you know we, we went through the trail of tears already, you know, Gad, you know, you know, Judah being led in slavery, child of slavery, you know, Gad being in slavery. OK, we've been through, listen, as a people, we've been through a lot, man, you know, so better is the end of this kingdom of fallen than the beginning. OK, better is, you know, um, Esau falling and Jacob uh, rising back up. Okay, and the, and the power. All right, we're going to get power for all eternity, man. All right, for all eternity. Okay, we're going to have power over the whole known globe, over the nations. All right, over the, the nations, man. Let's get that real quick. All right, this is um Revelation. Two and verse... 26 and it says i start 25 but that which he but that which ye have already hold fast till i come and these are in red letter now we know what that means that means the, the, this is how i speaking directly it says but that which ye have which is the truth there's not the wisdom this knowledge okay which you have already hold fast till i come meaning what we have to endure we got to stay you know in the spirit of perseverance with all faith and hope you know, through in the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Kakwadash. 26 and it says, And he that overcometh and keep my works until the end, meaning what? Enduring, you know, keeping, you know, keeping the words, keeping the Lord's sayings, okay? To him will I give power over the nations, meaning what? That's literal, okay? Power, all right? Supreme power from on high, man. We're going to receive that by, from Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, all right? And we're going to rule them. 
all right, over, uh, over these nations, over these heathen nations, okay, the ones that's ruling over us. Because why? Because right now everything is temporal. You know, the heathen being above us, okay, the woman being above us, if you will, in the society, okay? Everything you see right now, everything, the L's that we take in this truth, you know, in which the L's keep us humble, all right? You know, our lows and everything that we have went through in this truth, you know, you know, the uh the bitter things. Guess what? That's all temporal. Okay. So real quick before I even finish this in Revelation, let's get this in Romans. Okay. You bros should already know what I'm going to. Romans 8 and verse 18. And it says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy. To be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Okay. And that suffering goes back into the word what? Patience. Because the word patience means to suffer. Right? So with all our patience and how about Shmau Shai, we are suffering on this side. Okay. Because we see the wickedness. You know, we, you know, we see the disrespect. Okay. We see the, you know, the, uh, the blatant rebellion. Towards how about Shemal Shah and things of, this, things of that nature, you know, and hey, man, we, you know, we just got to hold fast and wait on the Lord, you know, that's why the Lord said, raise up, uh, that, that's why the Lord said, wait upon me to I raise up against the prey. All right. It's not our job to get carnal and take matter into our own hands. This is the Lord's movie. The Lord's going to, you know, fight for us. Okay, the scriptures say the Lord's gonna fight for us. It says, "Striving to the striving to the truth and to death, and the Lord Yahabashmal Shai shall fight for thee." Right? Okay, so so the things that we go through right now, you know, the hurdles and the bumps and the in the you know the 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 barriers that we gotta you know get over, just know that that's not uh, forever. All right, that's temporal because we got the kingdom coming, man. We gotta. We have a power coming unto us. It's already a promise unto us. You know, Romans 9, you know, we got the power. We got the promises, man. So we already have um, glory coming our way. OK, so let's head back to Revelation uh, 2 and 26. And it says, and he that overcometh and keep my works unto the end, excuse me. To him will I give power over the nations, right? And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive my father, right, man? So, you know, we're going to we're going to receive power, man. You know, and we're going to rule with the rod of iron, you know, and that's literal. You know, we're going to have a rod of iron. We're going to have it all, man, a crown, everything, man. Okay? And that's why we hope and pray that we're a part of, of the elect, okay, because being part of the elect, you know, that means you're a special spirit, man. Now, I must now, of course, you know, all Israel, you know, we're, they're gonna get a kingdom, you know, eventually, because the, the even the wicked Israelites, the two thirds that die from this side, they're gonna come back through the loins of the elect because, hey, that's the Lord's people too, you know, they're special too. But as far as the elect goes, they're in a different bracket than the rest of the. You know the rest of the uh, Israelites right now, because you have you have Israelites and you have the the uh, the Israel of God, and that's the elect, okay, the house of David. All right, the men, or should I say, excuse me, the spirits? I should say, the spirits. You know that were um, predestinated to be chosen to be part of that holy remnant, the hundred and forty four thousand, okay. That's what we seek to be part of. That's what that's what we hope to be part of. All right. So everything is temporal, man. You know, because hey man, listen, man, it may seem bad right now. You know, your you your woman may have just, you know, left you. You know, you may have lost some money. You know, you may have your children turning you. You know, your car broke down just now and Hey man, that's you know that's the that's part of it, man. You know that's the bitter. 
okay? That, that's a chastisement. That's us being tried right now, us going through the furnace of adversity. But just know, we're going to, we're, we're being made perfect. And in the long run, it's going to, um, it's going to um, show forth the good fruits of our baptism, okay? That the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is putting us through, okay? So, let's get um, 1 Corinthians 7 and 31. And it says, And they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away, right, man? You know, of course, because we don't, you know, we don't uh, want to get attached to this place. You know, you don't want to abuse it. You don't want to be, you know, you don't want to overindulge in something in this world to allow you to get attached, you know? You want to, uh, because just like the other, uh, the other uh, Yashvama said a couple years ago, he said that, you know, J-Care, they have a spiritual stake here in Babylon. You know, he talked about the Jakes, you know, in the world, of course, you know, they want to stay here, you know, but because why? Because they abuse the world, you know, the Gentiles, America's all they know. OK, but us being, you know, woken up and being uh, rendered active, you know, we we can't get attached here because we know that the first off, this is not our rest. And we know that this is not the last stop for us because America's about to be destroyed. Babylon's about to be overthrown. So this is just uh, us waiting to be delivered, okay? So why get attached to a place, you know, that's about to get destroyed, all right? And also, too, being being attached to the people here. You don't want to get attached to anything here, you know, anybody here. You know, you want to just keep your eyes in the prize and keep your eyes single, you know? And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, all right? And it says, for the fashion of this world passes away. Meaning what? Meaning the the manner of life, you know, how things are ran here. You know, the way, you know, um, the mindsets of the people. Okay? That's all going to pass, man. Because why? Because it's temporal. All right? It's all but a short time. <laughs> you know, and it really, if you look at it, you know, we're just, this is hell. We're in the, this is a bad dream right now. That's why he says Esau is going to pass away like a like a dream tonight. You know, we just, you know, serving our, our, our time in you know, punishment in hell <laughs> and no, not hell, some fiery place on the ground, but us being in hell, as, you know, in hell as as a condition. All right. Being oppressed and being at the bottom of a totem pole, you know, in hell, we got to go through this right now. But guess what? There's light at the end of the tunnel, okay? That's why how Shai is going to come back to deliver us. You know, he's going to come back to wipe away our tears, our sorrow, our pain. He's going to come back to, you know, um, uh, um, take vengeance on our enemies, all right? Our big brother, Shai Mashiach, is on his way back, man. So how soothing is that, Okay? He's coming back, man. Believe that Yahweh Shai is coming back. He's coming back. All right. So these people out here, man, let them have it, man. You know, let them fucking have it. They can keep it. Because we have, or should I say, excuse me, we are hastening for something greater. All right. Let them keep their temporal shit, man. You know, we we see things above, not things on, on earth, man. All right. Second Peter three, and I'll end it off on here. Second Peter three and verse 13. One of my favorite precepts, man. Okay. Because this is beautiful. You know, we are, uh, hastening for righteousness, you know, for power, glory, you know, no more pain, Peace, you know, and just everything that Yahweh Shemal Shai stands for. We are wait, we are waiting for that. Okay. Second Peter three and thirteen. Nevertheless, we now of course you know this whole chapter is cold, man. 
you know, you can you can read the whole chapter. It's about 18 verses. You can start from the top, you know. But for time's sake, I'm going to just get to the point. Second Peter uh, 3 and 13, it says, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, who is the we? The hopeful elect, man. The house of David, by Yavdawada, you know. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, who? The Lord's promise. Okay, because the Lord promised us eternal glory. The Lord promised us a new covenant that's going to be in our inward parts. Okay, meaning our meaning our mind. Okay, the Lord promised us eternal power, man. Spiritual power over, man, listen, man. The Lord is about to give us something that, listen, ear, uh, what the scriptures say says that I have not seen an ear, uh, I have not seen an ear has not heard. All right. We are in for a treat. This is so worth the wait, man. This is so worth the wait. So, so believe it, man. The Lord is about to give us what we deserve, man. Okay? And it says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, the Lord's promise, man. All right? Because before I even finish this, I want to say this. There's so many broken promises here in Babylon. You know, so many letdowns. But guess what? The Lord never let us down. All right, the Lord Yahweh Shmuel Shai would never let us, you know, He would never leave us to, uh, to you know, to um, be confounded. He would never leave us out there to, to uh, in the dark to dry out, man. Okay, that's why it says in the Book of Sirach two it says, "Who has the Lord confounded that called upon Him?" And the answer was nobody, man. If we call upon the Yahweh Shmuel Shai, the Lord is definitely going to protect us and have our backs, man. Like He, like the, like He always does. All right, through thick and thin. He's our God. All right, we have a God to call upon on. We have a God. All right, and Jake don't realize that. Jake don't don't know that they have a God to call upon. We have a a high, a high power. All right, and it says, nevertheless, nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. Okay, and that's uh, also written in the book of Revelation, I believe the 21st chapter. It says, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Okay, and that's going to, that new heaven and that, that new earth is going to be our rulership. All right, our rulership. And that rulership is never going to fall, man. Yahweh Shai's kingdom is never going to fall. All right. We are never going to. Get off. We are never going to be uh, um, far from power, man, because first off, we're going to have the laws in our inward part to our mind, our heart. You know, we're not going to sin anymore. We're not going to go off anymore. We're not going to be in this, this wicked ass vile flesh anymore. We're going to be immortal, man. We're going to be you're going to be so just so beautiful, man. All right. So it was worth the wait, man. Just keep in mind, man. You know, if, if, uh, if the flesh is always trying to keep you sad, depressed, or stuck on a, a topic that's that that's carnal and that doesn't even matter, just you know, pray upon the Lord and just keep telling yourself that, hey, f that, I got a kingdom coming. My Lord is coming back to save us, man. All right, keep that in mind. Because once that happens, listen. The things you thought of before right now is not going to even fucking matter, man. <laughs> Believe me. Okay? So with that being said, I just want to say, call Halein La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, as always, I want to say Shalom once again to Sensor Akim out there that's pushing this truth. Through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Lord's will, you were edified. That being said, Shalom.